Can you actually call it a road trip if you're not using roads? Welcome to Kaliga. We have now left all of the touristy things on our trip behind and we are going out into the desert. It's now an off-road trip. And so we will be out here for the next few days. We'll be camping, we'll be just making campfires and enjoying the scenery. We've joined up with a few other cars from Kaust and we are going to spend some time just exploring and seeing what we can find. So we're excited to take you along. Let's go. Unlike some places, in Saudi, you can pretty much leave the road wherever you want, as long as you are prepared and are able to get yourself unstuck if you need to. We know of a trail here that some other people have used, and so we are leaving the road and we are going to follow this trail in through this desert. We're airing down tires right now, so that's one way to make sure you're, you don't get stuck. And just makes it easier to drive through the, the deeper sand. And so that's our first level of precaution, but then we've got lots of gear in case people do get stuck. So make sure if you are leaving the road, you are prepared and you have several levels of ways to get free if you need it. We've actually been to this desert before. You can check out that video here, but we're excited to take some friends along this time. Mamiya, you wanna be on the video with me? Hello. We've also got some puppies along with us. You never want to use all of the things you have in your arsenal to be able to fix tires or to get yourself out of the sand, but it is so important to have these things. Take a look why. <laughs> oh, okay. Glad that you <laughs> One member in our group actually hit a rock just right and it punctured their tire. So we're gonna take care of that and then we'll hit the road again. Or the not road again. You may remember this spot from our last trip. Take a look at this arch at night. Strike the pose. Nice. <laughs> so what do you think about going and driving and playing for an hour or so? Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I got smushed by the door. Oh, I thought they were all like right behind us. Sometimes we find cool rock art. When we're out exploring, one of the things we like to do is just stop and take pictures when we find something cool. So that's what we're doing right now. We also just enjoy playing in the sand. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. We like to camp. We also like to make dinner around a campfire. Sometimes we like to cook things over the fire or barbecue uh, using charcoal, but other times we like to bring our own food that's already prepared ahead of time and we reheat it using our gas burner. On tonight's menu, we have biryani made in our Instapot at home and we're just gonna reheat it. 
have a look. Due to the flat tire yesterday, the car in our group that had the flat tire went into Heil, which is the local big city, to get it sorted so that they could once again go off road and not have any issues. We kind of changed a little bit of our plans, which were really loose anyway. We have now come to this beautiful place that's just off the road that's just nestled between some mountains and we are going to camp here tonight and then we'll continue on into the desert. So enjoy the views of this little space between some mountains on the side of the road. Have you ever seen acacia trees? They are very prominent in this area. Most trees you see around, or at least the ones I notice, are acacia trees. And you can tell that they're acacia trees because of the really pointy thorns that they have. Take a look. Some people have been asking about the weather. Uh, it's nice to be out here in this, in this area of Saudi because it's really a true desert. It gets pretty chilly at night and it's been kind of getting warmer in the day, during the day. And so, oh, the car door opened. It interrupted my spiel. 